this is the AD08 Intel Mini PC by Ace Magic. This tiny thing is an absolute powerhouse. Not only am I using this thing while filming one camera, but two cameras, and screen and audio recording in OBS, this entire video was filmed and produced using this PC. Ace Magic sent me this for free to review, so I can help you make a more informed decision before picking it up for yourself. Real quick, let's go over aesthetics here. This is a gorgeous little PC, and the tower is so well designed. The lighting is very tastefully done as well, and they didn't overdo it on the RGB stuff. The computer comes with its own first-party app that controls the lighting. You get an auto setting, rainbow, breathe, cycle, and off. You can toggle the lighting on and off if you want, and you get a bunch of different patterns to choose from. I kind of like to just keep it on auto. The on button on the PC is actually a wheel that you can turn to toggle between three different fan settings. Ace Magic did a really good job with the design of this thing, and it seems to dissipate heat pretty much flawlessly, so there's nothing to worry about there. Even when the fan's on high, it doesn't get that loud. This is just yet another design choice by Ace Magic that screams they didn't have to, but they did. They didn't have to implement a manual control wheel for the fan settings. That's something I've literally never seen on a PC before. It's so helpful. This is the first fresh boot out of the box. No settings changed. All I've done is go through all of the typical first time Windows updates. This is how much hard drive space you start with. The only thing I've changed about this computer so far is downloading and installing OBS so I can, you know, make this video. Most pre-built PCs you buy are filled with no bloatware you have to spend an hour uninstalling. This is literally everything that comes installed on this computer. As you can see, there's almost no weird bloatware you have to deal with. So setting this up is really just as trivial as going through and uninstalling the random apps you don't really care about. There's like almost no setup you have to do with this thing. It's genuinely one of the most plug and play PCs I've ever owned. Probably because I'm used to using AMD hardware. It's like being in an abusive relationship. Now that I've gone through all that and I've done all my personalization, here's the DX Diag. Ace Magic sent me a model that comes with 16 gigs of RAM and a 512 gig NVMe SSD. This is an Intel PC, so you get integrated Intel UHD graphics. It's an Intel i9-11900H with 8 gigs of shared integrated VRAM. It sounds like a lot, but it's gonna fall short when you get into gaming and stuff. More on that later. And what's great is that this thing is upgradable. It is so smart how they did this. The side panel on the tower here is magnetic, so this thing is super easy to take apart. Not in the kind of way where like it's gonna fall off if you bump it or something. It's on there, you have to really tug at it. They made it super accessible for anyone to just open it up and immediately see the components that they know most people are gonna wanna upgrade anyway. You just pry open this spot right here and you now have exposed the RAM, the SSD, and check that out, there's a SATA slot for a SATA SSD. It's just a nice touch, so yeah, I basically upgraded this thing right when I got it. I've slapped my own SSD in here and I'm chilling. God, I go on tangents. It's a mini PC, so of course it takes laptop RAM, which is super easy to come by on Amazon. I'll have what I use down in the description and I'll make an update video when I install it. So watch out for that. This PC comes with the Intel Graphics Command Center installed. You've got some display settings here, color profiles, VRR options. You've got all of your hardware specs here. Alright, now moving on to what I intend to be the main purpose of this PC for myself personally. Creative tasks like video editing, using After Effects, stuff like that. It's kind of what I do now, I guess. I am not a professional video editor. I am just some guy who makes videos about microphones for a living. For the type of content I make, the demands are very low. This thing handles Premiere like a champ. It's very snappy. Not only did I edit the video you're currently watching, but also the previous video on my channel as well. Honestly, it is so smooth. I get really good performance, especially after working for many, many hours. I haven't run into a single issue so far. So first up, we're doing Rise of the Tomb Raider, because I'm kind of just curious how this thing is going to perform in a fairly demanding previous gen game. For a little PC like this, cutscenes are pretty taxing, so you're kind of going to be hovering in the low teens. I wanted to test this out in the most demanding part of the game. 
to sort of push this little PC to its absolute limit. So here we are in this little main town that is sort of notorious for having bad performance. I'm honestly kind of surprised by this. I'm kind of impressed. Going down to the lowest preset, gets me a decent 20-ish frames per second. Next, an oldie but a goodie, Borderlands 2. And honestly, it's looking really good. I've even got depth of field turned on. This is really, really smooth so far. For a mini PC, pulling off 30 frames per second on a game like this is totally fine. It's not bad. 30 frames per second in Borderlands 2 on high settings. Another oldie but a goodie. Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. I love this game. It's so good. If you haven't played this, seriously check it out. So if you're getting this PC for maybe like more stylized games like World of Warcraft, Fortnite, things like that, I think it lends itself very well to these types of games that have a more stylized art direction and are a little bit more well optimized. This PC really does hold its own on previous gen titles. It feels pretty smooth. For a mini PC, I'm impressed. Personally, I'm just gonna be playing WoW Classic on this thing. I don't really care. Just don't go expecting to be able to handle filming and screen recording games at the same time. Turns out that's sort of the limit of this thing. So yeah, this little mini PC is actually awesome. I think this PC is completely worth picking up. Aesthetically, it's gorgeous. Gaming performance is definitely on the low end. You're going to be getting 30 to 40 frames per second on older gen games. Things like Fortnite, World of Warcraft, Dota, League of Legends, Counter-Strike, Apex Legends, you're going to get pretty good performance on games like those if you're running them at low to medium settings. Where this PC really shines is creative tasks. For me, I make videos for a living. It performs exactly as well as I need it to. I'm able to use Photoshop, After Effects, Premiere, and Audition to the fullest extent that I need to use them for what I do. I'm not making movies with this thing, I'm making ads and microphone reviews. So yeah, if you want to pick this thing up for yourself, I have an affiliate link down in the description. Thanks Ace Magic for sending me this to review. I was kind of just expecting to roast it, but no, they did a good job.